Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final presentation. Two great teams led by two great players in a wonderful tournament. They've given us some incredible entertainment. But unfortunately, or fortunately for some, there can only be one winner. And on this occasion, it is the Fortune Baruchel who are crowned BPL champions for 2024. Right, let's get this presentation underway. And first and foremost, we need to introduce the presentation party away to my left-hand side. Mr. Nizam Uddin Chowdhury, Chief Executive Officer, Bangladesh Cricket Board. Mr. Sheikh Sohel, Director, BCB, Chairman, BPL Governing Council, and Chairman, Marketing and Commercial Committee of BCB. Mr. Nazmul Hassan, MP, Honorable Minister, Ministry of Youth and Sports, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, and President of the Bangladesh Cricket Board. Mr. Mohammed Ismail Haider Malik, Director, BCB, Chairman, Finance Committee of BCB, and Member Secretary of BPL Governing Council. And then lastly, Mr. Ali Ispahani, Director of the Ispahani Group. Welcome, gentlemen. Our first presentation for the evening goes to our match officials, and they will collect an appreciation crest, which will be handed over by Mr. Nazmul Hassan, MP. First up, heroic freedom fighter, ASM Rokibul Hassan, our match referee. Next up, Mr. Enamal Huck Moni, our umpire coach. Our two on-field umpires, Mr. S.I.S. Shawcut and Mr. David Milnes from England. Both had an outstanding final. Next up, our third umpire, Mr. Musadur Rahman Mukul. And our fourth umpire, Mr. Tanvir Ahmed. A wonderful job done by all our match officials, not only over the course of the final, but also the entire tournament. Right, now up for our player awards. Our Ispahani player of the final, the award will be presented by all and a crest will be handed over by Mr. Nazmul Hassan, MP. And our final always requires an all-round performance. And so tonight it goes to Kalmez. He will collect a check for five lakh. Carl, you're just going to come and join me for a second, if possible, once you're done. Just a quick chat here. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Here's the star. Carl, firstly, very well played today, but right through the playoffs, you've really seemed to, to found form right at the right time. Yeah. Um is, it was a good performance. I really enjoyed it. Um, from the time I reached to Bangladesh, you know, um, I've been telling people I felt a nice energy. After not being able to play much games for a few months, you know, being on the road in South Africa playing one game, then travel to Australia playing one, so two games in a, in a month and a half, you know, and then coming here and then hitting the ground running, you know, playing some performances for my team, it felt good. Yeah, I actually heard you having a chat with Ramiz Raja a little bit earlier, and you mentioned the, the lack of opportunity in South Africa. Do you think some of the, these leagues now will be reluctant to have you sitting on the sideline? Um, not necessarily. You know, my team did well in South Africa. So um, it was just combination, you know, um, at the time because because last year I did pretty well too. So um, so it's just combination at the time. And then at the beginning of the tournament, um, I lost my bike. So then the guys had the opportunity and they took it. So um, I was very pleased with this tournament to be able to bowl four overs though. So um, 
hopefully teams around the world looking looking on and see that I'm not just a two over bowler and I can bowl four overs in it to turn the game. Well, I know that you did contribute with the ball. You certainly got it to talk a little bit up front, but I just want to ask you about your batting. Is that the sort of freedom that you play with, with, with all the time, or was this this unit and this captain that and the management that allowed you to play with that freedom? I think it's just me being me, you know, but um, kudos to the captain and the management who made me feel welcome from in section, you know, and Tamin, from the Tamin Reach, she had a speech for me and told me, you know, not wor don't worry about performances, you can't guarantee performances, you know, a lot of people always think that when overseas players come to teams, they must perform, and he was telling me, you know, performances will take care of itself, just want me to be me, so obviously I just went out there and try my best, be the best version of me, you know, and, and play well, you know. Carl, congratulations, and thanks very much for the entertainment. Thank you very much. Carl Mears, our player of the match. All right, next up, the BCB best fielder of the tournament. They will collect a check for three lakh by all of our presentation party, as well as collect that crest from Mr. Nazmul Hassan, MP. And from Durdanto Dhaka for his eight catches in 12 matches, it is Mohamed Naeem. We're going to get someone from Camilla Victorians. Rishab is going to come and collect it on behalf of Mohammed Naeem. And they will ensure that that gets to him. Next up is our BCB highest wicket taker of the tournament, and he will collect a check of five lakh as well as a crest. Also from the Duradanto Dhaka, surprisingly, that they finished last in this uh, competition considering the wonderful performances but his best of four for 24 ended up with 22 wickets a hat-trick as well Shoraful Islam and Rishab will collect that on behalf of Shoraful Islam as well a young man with a very very bright future Shoraful Islam with the Bangladesh Tigers Our BCB highest run getter of the tournament, an award of five lakh will be presented by our presentation party and a crest by the president of the BCB. And for his 492 runs, Tommy McBall. I'm going to get straight into our BCB player of the tournament who's going to collect a nice check for 10 luck from our presentation party and a crest as well handed over by Mr. Nazmul Hassan, MP. And it's not only for his runs, but his leadership. Our BCB player of the tournament is Tommy McBall. Tommy, when you're done, can you pop across here quickly? We'll chat to him a little bit later then, shall we? Plenty to talk about the captain of fortune, Barishal, Tommy McBell. Well, unfortunately, in a tournament like this, in a match like this, there has to be a loser. And on this occasion, it is the Camilla Victorian. So if I can please call up their team to collect their medallions, their runners-up medallions, which will be handed over by Mr. Nazmul Hassan, MP. The Kumila Victorians. Right up you come, gentlemen. Litton Das will be up first, the skipper. Once he's collected his medallion, he'll come across and uh, have a few words with me. They can just keep coming. Some wonderful players, Tanvir Islam, Rohanat Borsan, who's got a wonderful uh, future ahead of him. He was seen in the Under-19 World Cup representing Bangladesh, Mustafa Zir Rahman. Musfik, who bowled with some real great pace throughout the tournament, didn't play in tonight's final. So, 
Sunil Narayan continues to uh, confuse all the batters around the world with his wonderful variations. The power of Johnson Charles, the all-round ability of Mo and Ali, the power of uh, Andre Russell. We're not going to forget that man in a long time. Howard Ridoy, who just lost out to uh, Tommy McPal as the highest run scorer in the tournament. Some real wonderful performances by the Camilla Victorians over the course of this competition. Matthew Ford didn't play in the final, but uh, certainly held his own with the new ball on many occasions. Eight wins from 12 matches in the group stages for the Camilla side. One qualifier one, taking them straight through to the final. Some might have thought favourites coming into this match. Travel safe, Johnson. Our management committee. did such a wonderful job and have got so used to winning this trophy. Four times winners, Camilla. Once the last of these medallions are handed out, we're going to get Litton Das to collect a check for one crore, which will be handed over by our presentation party. And then hopefully, just hopefully, he'll pop over here for a quick chat. Letun Das, the captain of the Kumila Victorians. You will forget this man's performances throughout the tournament. If someone can grab that check off you there, Litton, and the trophy, thank you very much. Unlucky tonight there, Skipper. Just not the best performance from your side when it mattered most. Yeah, definitely. Uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, we're not um, playing well uh, in the last game. Uh, it's happened. It's cricket. cricket. Uh, throughout the tournament, we played really well. Uh, there is batting, bowling, and fielding. I thought uh, as a batting part, Couple of uh, swap dismissal, so still 20 run shot and the half chance in the field, and we don't bowl well in the power play. That's cost us. Was it a toss that you think was good for Tamim to to win? In that it, it looked as though it was a little tougher to bat first. Uh, I don't feel that. Uh, I feel that it's a very good bat wicket, uh, batting wicket in the first half. Second half is ball turned more. Okay, now Andre Russell came in quite late on the piece. I'm sure that wasn't by design in that. Uh, when do you want someone like Andre to walk to the wicket? Uh, it's very, very difficult to answer. I mean, yeah, uh, we, we thought uh, our batsmen not playing well in the middle as for like 15 over. I know uh, if we uh, send Russell before the different game scenario, but still... I thought a 150 is a, is a good wicket in, in the final, and if we bowl well and feel well, it's, it's a different yeah. ball game. But, and I know this is never, never easy, so congratulations on a wonderful full tournament, and thank you very much for the entertainment. Yeah, thank you very much. Litton Das, the captain of the Camilla Victorians. Right, now the moment that everyone's been waiting for. Let's call up the Fortune Borachal and their team, the runners-up, not the runners-up, the winners, excuse me, of the uh, Ispahani BPL. They will collect a check for two crore from their captain, Tommy McBell. And they will also 
get their medals from the presentation party. Some brilliant performances over the course of the tournament from the Fortune Baruchel, Carl Mears, who was our player of the match, Seifudun, who was so good with the, with the ball in hand, James Fuller as well, got the ball to swing early on, Tajul Islam, what a magnificent performer he is across all three formats. Mushfikir Rahim, vital innings that he played in the qualifier. Shumusaka, brilliant in the field as well. Players like Ruckabull who never had as much of an opportunity as he would have liked to. And then we're not going to forget David Miller who's just postponed his wedding by a couple of days so that he can play in this final. That's commitment for you from the Fortune Baruchel left-hander. Ahmed Shazad from Pakistan. Travel safe, Davey. Don't drop the medal. Big Obed McCoy, all these fast and nasty left armers. Mahedi Hassan Miraj, who, uh, what a brilliant all rounder he's turning out to be. And of course, Mamadullah. He's got his hands on a trophy. All the support staff. Smiles all around. Yet another trophy for Dev Watmore. Well done, gentlemen. Richly deserved. They did it the hard way. They certainly did, Fortune Baruchel. Having come through the eliminator and then the qualifier to get through to the final and then what a performance they've put on this evening. To give some of the stalwarts of Bangladesh cricket their first taste of a BPL trophy. Last up will be their captain. Tommy McBall, who will collect the check for two crore. And then come across and have a chat with me before you go and collect that trophy, Tamim. I know you're desperate to try and get two men involved here. They're reluctant to come in front of camera, but they're on their way. I'd just uh, uh, like to call uh, Mushfiqur Rahim and uh, Mahmoudullah Riyadh. I think uh, uh, this, uh, this tournament uh, and this trophy, I will love to dedicate it to both of them. They haven't won it. And uh, Mushi, has been, uh, Mushi has been brilliant with the team. Uh, the, if, you, if you are in a franchise, uh, you have to do a lot of work. I, I mainly concentrated on getting players who is coming, who is playing or not. Mushi did a massive job on the field. He looked after the team really well, bowling changes and all and all. Not many people knows, but uh, it was uh, it was Mushi's uh, Mushi's trophy, and he did a lot of bowling changes, a lot of things. Uh, because I uh, I was named captain, a lot of things uh, credit goes to me. But uh, uh, it's it's really important to tell uh, the right thing, and I think uh, Mushi deserves uh, a lot of credit for this one. Tamim, I'm going to get back to you. I just want to ask Mushi, Mushi, special, yeah. special night for you, isn't it? Yeah, obviously. The first time, uh, this was my uh, third final and won first time. And to uh, become a champion with Riyad Bhai and Tamim alongside me, it is a great pleasure. And all the credit to our team management and all the players and coaching staff. I think they work really, really hard. 
I mean no disrespect when I say this, but there's a lot of fight left in these old, in these old guys. Uh, I hope so, and uh, inshallah we will try our level best in the near future. Old, but still not out. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> <laughs> they were his words, I read his words. How are you feeling this evening, Mamadullah? Um, really good feeling, really good. First of all, I'd like to thank Tamim because he called us up, uh, three, us, three of us together to have a, have a chat here. Uh, so, so thanks to Tamim. I think it was a combined team effort and very pleased to be here. Like a young man in the outfield there, a couple of catches in, in the deep, a few more years left in you, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm still trying, trying to be fit and try to play my uh, best cricket, uh, wherever I play, and uh, yeah, that's it. So, I mean, a, a lot of awards here for you tonight, I mean, the most runs in the tournament, that must be very satisfying as the leader of the team to be able to lead from the front. Yeah, definitely, you know, uh, because uh, in this kind of tournament, there's a lot of pressure. Uh, this is where I, um, I have to thank Mushi a lot because he took away a lot of pressure from me and where which I could have just concentrated on my batting. Um, and uh, it was important for me and the team that uh, I score runs at the top. Uh, so, uh, yes, I have done it, but uh, it, it wasn't possible without support of Mushiria and all the other trips. And then just one word on, on tonight, because I don't want to keep you from raising that beautiful trophy. Is this your most clinical performance throughout the tournament? Yes, I think so. Uh, I think uh, there was a time where we were almost out of the tournament. Um, uh, we, sh we were not sure that we will reach the semi-final or not. But we, this is where the experience comes in, you know. A lot of people say a lot of things about T20 cricket, but I think ex experience is key. Yes, you need experience with youth, but uh, uh, this is where the experience came in. We, we stick to our plans and uh, we are here. Gentlemen, congratulations. I've said it before, thank you so much for the entertainment. Thank you. And now and go and enjoy this. Tamim, you go and grab that trophy. So Tamim McBall, the captain of the Fortune Borishal, will grab his check. He'll probably put the check down because he wants that trophy. He's been glaring at it all evening. Then his team will join him. First time winners, Mehdi Hassan Miraj as well. And then hopefully they'll head off in front of that wonderful banner, which will just put an icing on the cake. As the Fortune Baruchel are crowned champions of the Ispahani BPL for 2024. Wonderful scenes here as the raids that coveted trophy. Fortune Borishal are the champions of the Ispahani BPL 2024. Aren't they elated? These are wonderful scenes coming to you from the final evening of what has been a magnificent tournament. It's uh, brought in the crowds, it's uh, brought in a lot of good cricket and it has been uh, wonderful to be a part of this terrific tournament in the last uh, few days and weeks. They're cheering, they'll just uh, possibly go around uh, and uh, have a victory parade because a lot of people still waiting around. Ardent supporters of cricket who have uh, come here in numbers, look at them still waiting into the dead of night and waiting for the celebrations to continue and I'm sure it's going to continue for a long, long time. Congratulations once again to Fortune Borichal winning this final by six wickets. The first match they played was on 20th of January versus Rangpur. It took them 42 days and they deserved it. It's a night to remember for Fortune Borishal to become, for the very first time, the champions in the Espahani Bangladesh Premier League T20 2024. It is not only the first time for Fortune Borishal, there's also first time for Mushfiqur Rahim, Mahmudullah Riyad and Medias and Miraj to hold on to that winning trophy. Proud moment for the franchise owners. They have been striving uh, to get to this point for some time and success has come their way. Elation, celebration and there will be more to come. It has been, as I said, a very successful and entertaining Bang Ishwani BPL T20. Right, so we sincerely thank all of you for tuning in in the last uh, month and a bit uh, to this uh, wonderful tournament.
and uh, we hope you're going to join us for the next one. For the moment, it's a very good night from all of us here.